Now, as we've been dealing with stress, I've noticed that the units were pascals, which are the same units as we have for pressure. So there are some similarities, but let's sort of talk about it. Both the formulas are force divided by area. The symbols are different, so that should give you some hint that there's some reason for a difference, although that doesn't always work that way. Pressure is an external thing. So pressure is forces are being applied from the outside, whereas the in stress technically is an internal thing. We talk about it in terms of, a, you know, I apply a force to a rod, but it really is the, the forces that the rod applies in order to not be deformed. So that technically is stress. Pressure is always perpendicular, where stress can doesn't have to be. I can have a shearing stress. There is no shearing pressure. Uh, pressure comes from one thing hitting. Basically, it's the normal force applied as things hit. Pressure is also a scalar. There's not a particular direction. And stress officially is a second order tensor. There's a directional aspect to it. Uh, first order tensors are vectors. Second order tensors, just you're adding another dimension to the information. And you can measure pressure directly, but I can't measure stress directly. I can measure force find the area and calculate it, but stress is found indirectly. And those are some of the differences between the two.